On the 700 acres which make up this concession is this enormous open cast working. It's like a huge trench, 300 feet long, some 10 feet wide in most places, but 600 feet deep. And it was one of the richest gold producing veins in the world. And in its time, 20,000 ounces of gold were taken out of it. In the 1880s, an astute member of Parliament, Pritchard Morgan, in two very famous weeks, dug out of this vein more than his own weight in gold. Two stone more, and he weighed 11 stone. But the vein was lost. Sometimes only as thin as a small thread, it ran up against a fault, and no one could find where it continued on the other side. A lot of people have looked. And this is what this present company is looking for, this lost vein of gold. And they believe that it must be somewhere underneath here. Okay. So, yeah, that's very good. About an 18,000 difference. That's so 18 percent. Something nearer 20. Yes. So if we uh, think, follow the vein round it on the side yeah, here. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Reading one. Okay. Reading two. Yes, that's better. That's mm -hmm. almost 30 percent. It's reaching up a little down there. So we definitely have a zinc, maybe zinc, lead, sulphur. Or here, uh, which uh, spreads down the side of the uh, opening here. Uh -huh. hmm. Well, you yourself have seen lead, zinc and copper in the rocks. Uh, this type of ore was very difficult for the old miners to treat. We can successfully separate these metals. And, of course, we have modern techniques for quickly evaluating the deposit and seeing whether it is an economic, uh, economically viable for those minerals.